And now your weather with meteorologist Gino Recchia. Normally in October, we do see about three tenths of an inch of snowfall accumulation. And the reason why I'm showing this is that as we wake up tomorrow morning, some areas could wake up with a light dusting of snowfall. Yes, we had highs in the 50s today and we might struggle to even reach 40 degrees tomorrow. It was a cloudy day with scattered rain showers popping up. Very light sprinkles, not a heavy downpour by any means, but still a uh, continuation of this gloomy weather that we've been dealing with, with these areas of low pressure swirling across the Great Lakes. We've got one area of low pressure, a trough of low pressure, a little bit of instability in the atmosphere, and then we have a secondary cold front that is moving across the Great Lakes, and there's even some snow showers ongoing in southern Ontario and far northern Minnesota at the moment. As the temperatures fall tonight, a lot of this precipitation in the form of rain will transition over to some snowfall. And with strong winds expected to come in from the north and northwest, the lake effect snow machine is going to crank up especially in the UP of Michigan on the south shores of Lake Superior. That's why there is winter storm warnings in effect and also some winter weather advisories extending all the way down towards Rylander into parts of the parts of the far Northwoods. So look what's going to be happening. This is a two day total. Some areas in the highlands could probably pick up over a foot of snowfall by Tuesday. That's what happens with lake effect snow and some of that plume of snow could make its way into our neck of the woods overnight into tomorrow morning. And you see that 5 o'clock in the morning hours, some light rain and snow showers moving through before transitioning over to mainly just some light sprinkles. And here's what some of our computer models are showing as we wake up by Monday morning, a light dusting of snowfall. Now, this shouldn't pave the surface, the ground, the roads, but the grass, the elevated surfaces, wouldn't be surprised if we have a light slushy accumulation. And on top of that, gusty winds coming in out of the northwest near 25 to 35 miles per hour as we wake up tomorrow. And these winds start to howl, especially by the afternoon. Look at Surgeon Bay, 40 mile per hour wind gusts. That's why we do have a wind advisory until 7 o'clock Tuesday. These winds will continue throughout Monday and throughout Tuesday with gusts upwards of 45 to 50 miles per hour. So while Door County will have the highest wind gusts, everyone's going to be seeing it tomorrow and Tuesday, and those winds will be making a big impact with the wind chills, feeling like the mid 30s. It's crazy to think that we're going to feel like winter weather as we get into tomorrow, and then by the end of the week, we could be talking with highs near 70 degrees. Show that 70 in a minute. 33 overnight low, northwest winds 10 to 20, gusts near 30. Tomorrow we get up to a high of maybe 41 for lucky. Northwest winds 15 to 25, gust near 35. Here's the seven day though. Yes, a cold start. Maybe you're not ready for this cold weather just yet, but we do start to improve getting into the 60s by Friday and take a look by next weekend up to near 70 by Sunday.